Hello viewers and welcome again to another episode of Salon Story with me, Kona Sisi. Viewers, the camera, they talk to different entrepreneurs them concerning them business where then they do and also some challenges them where they don't face ever since where they start up their business and how they don't they use this business where then they do for empire youth them out there. Now we they go. Hello to you and welcome to this interview. I'm Kona City from Sarah Network. Please do introduce yourself to me. Hello, I am Andrea Snell and Mina Cochetta. Right. Andrea, you go please tell me what's being a Cochetta like be all about? Okay, a Cochetta and a person where they make things with Cochette, commonly called uh, um, Couché. Okay. Yes, now you can make anything out of Couché. That's okay. it. So what thing like motivate you for coming to this work? Um, going up, I've been like for cliche. When one of them pupils that want me to go to school, they sees me cliche and we pin them in a class and all. So it, it started as a hobby, right? And then I tested, I just do one slippers for myself and I said, okay, this thing can bring me money. And so let me start doing something. So that's what, that's how it happened. Okay, so in other words, you describe for tell we say this work where you do so that something where you just come up because you let come and so you begin to am. Is it that you not ever get any trained skill on them? No, I not ever get any trained skill on them. I actually started with um, boom straw, what they call boom tick. I did Benham and then I started. I did watch other people they do am my classmates and then I started. I graduated so the pin and then I got good at it. So. Okay. You know, using them um, that way, they you know using the crochet day, it come out as slippers. What not some of the equipment then we really use? Um, the most important um, item I they use is me crochet pin, the se the wool and the scissors. So if I get the one then there, I can basically do almost anything I want to do. Okay. Yeah. So like when you don't make a complete slippers, yeah, how much it can cost? It's one fifty. Yes. So you think see, this is not a way of empowering you? Yes, it is. It is a way of empowering me. In fact, it's you not know, only empower me, it challenge me also. Yeah. So through this you innovation, so like how you don't like try for see that this you knowledge where you don't get you able for impact other lives with them? Okay, so this is a very young business, okay? Officially, it's almost one year. Unofficially, it's about three years, okay? And since the start of this, I don't get people that don't come up to me and tell me, ask me for, teach them. I started off, especially with the slippers, with the, um, the rubber slippers, now I made a use force, and then I just do the designs on, on top and just like, so I don't teach like one or two people the way also they do are now. Um, and they also they get income out of it. And now that I have graduated to uh, um, leather, I get people that don't come up to me also when I plan for teach them and you know let them also learn from it. Okay, you are a young entrepreneur, I can <laughs> say. So like, what are some of the challenges and way you go through being that you're young mm. and you just don't come into this business? Oh. But the biggest challenge we are the face right now now for get customers okay like i tell you it's a very young business and um people don't know about it yet and so when i make things it's very difficult for me for being to for, for get customers to come and buy them okay but another another um challenge is that people are grumble for the price i mean it's 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 expensive me, me products and thing that they use mostly in a guinea that they buy them from. So imagine you get for go, you get for pay to for go guinea, and then you come back, and then you get for pay the shoemaker and all. So it's it's very difficult. But people are like, grumble, eh? They will come on and talk, eh? For slippers, one fifty. But come on, it's handmade. So that I mean, basically two most important, um, sorry, two most challenging challenges that they get right now. There are youths out there, yeah. We get similar, you know thoughts about making things, about being creative, but then they don't know how for go into them, um, they don't know how for start up, you know. What think could be your message to such people? You can start small. I mean, I don't start big. I started with 
A hundred thousand. Honestly, I am not being one of those motivational speakers, okay? I started off with hundred thousand, where I go buy a dozen of slippers, go buy slippers and then a um, couple of wools and me pin. That's how I started. So I started small. I didn't wait for me to have a big capital. I don't wait till I get big money for start. You can start with the one wool where you get in a house and you slippers where you wear in a house. You can start with them. Start for crochet. Just learn. You know, you can do it. The good thing is, when you start in a day, you can undo them and do another design. So you can improve on yourself. So that's my message to them. Okay. So now what could be your message to people out there with desire for be your customer for coming and also be partakers of this business? Please come. <laughs> I am begging you to come and trust me, you're not going to regret it, okay? I'm giving you giving you quality things and anything that I put out there to sell, I guarantee will last you not more not less than a year or two. Until you tie yourself. So it's very strong. So please come. I'm waiting. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello to you and welcome to this interview. I'm Kona Sisi from Sire Network. Do please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Joslyn Larry Kamala and I'm a saxophonist. All right. So why you decide to play the saxophone? Well, um, I decided to play saxophone because um, I find out see in my own um, area or country it's very limited and only few they play them. And I just want to do something really outstanding, unique and not that too common in my country. Okay, so how long you don't play for now? Well, um, I started to play saxophone um, in the year 2017. But um, I will say I officially begin to play saxophone while buying my own saxophone um, April 16, 2017. Okay. In what way will the saxophone don't create a means of empowerment in your life? Well, in this case, um, it happened, I would say, automatically because, like, I don't really expect them. Um, I don't ever know see if I, like, start up for play saxophone, it go count me in this kind of level. Because as of now, um, people in the hire me for so many events, wedding, birthdays, and I can work with few ladies. Then we can do this birthday surprise package. So at least myself, any events I cover financially. I they get something like I say, um, it was never like being there at the back of my mind. Say, why start up this? Um, com um, commercially, it will be of um, benefit to me. What do you go tell people out there, like, where themselves know how to play the saxophone very well, but then they, they find ways, they, they find them difficult, you know, for go out there and showcase them talent? Well, in this case, um, I go say, people and they out their way, then they play saxophone. This country, then they play saxophone very well, but if we, if I, we go find out, say, then just they one stage they know they improve on themselves based because of their attitude you know like even in life self any thing they do if you not get a good attitude you go be very good at what you're doing but honestly if you not get a very good attitude you could just there at a standstill you're not able for go right. as young as you are you decide for you know bring out your talent and then you decide for use them for motivate not only yourself but you know other people out there other lives out there what you not be your strongest challenge ever since well me strongest challenge in this saxophone business um actually we people can call me hey i get bad day i get this event so 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 do you can't play for me and as soon as i tell him me prize e for can blue no more. You understand like I say and say e, then people are like they're not can actually know the struggle we we can do behind the scenes. Waiting no more than can think like we just go blow, forget about it. And that blow are the blow and our new energy are they use than a one. And secondly, are they spend time again because it's not so instruments we you could just go about the play. You get for practice. And you know, any salary they put your time, your energy, your efforts, 
you know, people and get for value which you they do. The thing is, what you make see the difficulty I can get, people are not going to understand. You know, I can meet certain people who really know about the instruments and everything behind the instruments. As I can say, okay, well, now me prize this way. Then they say, you know what, Larry, I will give you so, so, so. They can even pass waiting, making charge, you understand? So the thing is, people and really get for begin like the value or a person in work. Otherwise, we could just do like this. Yeah. Speaking of price, how much you can charge per event? Well, um, I will take them from wedding, weddings. I can charge at 500,000 units for cover a wedding. And um, if not like a birthday surprise or that, I can charge at 200,000 units. So how you don't try for like empower other youths out there where you know try for learn them what you don't already know the knowledge where you get on saxophone what you don't try for do like for empower youths out there okay me um i always open for learn others out there actually me don't get that kind of opportunity me learn the hard way i go all by myself um Download tutorials, then I know. But the problem is about Sierra Leoneans. Plenty of people don't come meet me for make a land them, but I go only able for land them if they buy their own instruments. And then is, this instrument, now instruments we know they share, especially because you get for do with the mouth. You get for do with your mouth, your tongue. And you know, see the tongue until um, saliva. So now something we you know they share. So, but some students they were get, they already don't buy their own. I can give them a time we I open up for teach anybody as long as you get your instruments, you know. I not even open for share my instruments with you. Okay. Yeah. So what thing will be your message to youths them out there we get similar talent where you get but then they shy away from the public, they shy for come and showcase the talent we then get. Um talking about this now something we at the initial stage a very difficult, you know, I was there. You know, it's very difficult. Just imagine, you day you day play f in a church. You know, plenty of people and they all eyes fixed on you. You know, that's something where it takes time for let you master. But the skill is different. It's it's simple. Sorry, you just get for be yourself. Not only be yourself, believe in yourself. And when you go up there, take up on yourself. Say, well, this at the time my best. Le, like a minister, na people and lives them, you know, le, le touch people them. Because like, it for starts with you, you understand? If you not believe in yourself, you get a fear day, then honestly, when you go up there, you're not going to send any message or create any impact. All right, thank you very much. Welcome there. Hello, Mina Kuna Sisi from Sarah Network. Do please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Wadu Chalo. Um, I'm a makeup artist. My brand name is so I do change makeover. So how long you don't do this work? From 2016 to now. So what thing inspire you for come into makeup? Actually, before I start this makeup, I will do um, hijab style. We want my neighbor and sister be the maid. So like, it's a makeup we do in, in hijab and makeup. But like, and not be day into makeup then time then day. So on that day we I try for duam and I do am in a, in the best way. So since that day, day I become inspired to become a makeup artist. Alright, so when you get to realize that day, they say you can do makeup, you go ahead and further you your knowledge on them? Yeah. So then ten and day I not be done going to make I not go makeup class. But since then, then and the way I don't they do them, um, you know, be that's too perfect, and I be done the same now, uh, like online and all. So I decided to take the class. And so ever since when you don't start for do makeup, what's gonna be your experience so far? Well, since I start for do this makeup, um, so many things don't change around my life, and also I don't even inspire young people them for going to them. Um, because like since I start this work after I do this course just after I do after I graduate from Forbes College. So I search for jobs and all where as I say I'm not able for succeed. So I decide for open my own place and 
focus on this makeup. Right. You think, say, being a makeup artist, now a way of empowering yourself? Yes, it don't empower me a lot because I don't learn so many things. I don't meet with so many people them, and all. I don't make other even improve my knowledge on this makeup, and I don't even seek for learn more. Now you don't learn and you they try for learn more. But then how you go try for make others out there with themselves want for learn which you don't learn so go able for get the knowledge from you? Well, I get for um, conduct classes them way I get for um, teach people them on how they go then say will get the knowledge on how they go do this. Even the one way before they not even go to school go try for do something we go empire in life. We know we don't idle. Right. So, what's gonna be your message to viewers out there, especially those we, you know, get the talent for do it the same way you did do so, but then the shy away for come, you know, in front and showcase their talent. Well, I go encourage them for like let them try something out, even if not to make up any other thing so far. We go inspire them. Okay. So, what's gonna be your greatest challenge ever since you don't start this work? Well, since I start this makeup, the first, the first challenge we I get now with clients, because like some people, you they call in at their houses, then for go do their makeup. After I don't, they need to give you money, even for you transport stuff, not problem. So since then, time and day, we don't get that experience. Day, if I go meet you in a place, you get for come book me first. So what thing will be what we send to you as them? about this makeup salon well i uh, encourage everybody we get um we um get passion for makeup let yourself try them and see if a uh, able for do it go able for do um the best out of himself because like makeup now a way of beautifying yourself and others so if you go into RAM, it will be nice. And Thank you very much. You're welcome. You as Una Self don't listen to some of the young entrepreneurs then will be getting a Sierra Leone. Then people you also talk concerning how they start up them business them. Some challenge them what they don't face ever since we then start up them business them. And also how this business don't they empower not only them but also some youths them out there we don't they learn from them. We will bring the program can to you today. My name is Nakona Sise. Till we meet again to another edition of Salon Stories. I say tata. -ta.